Joining us from Washington is Michael O'Hanlon, a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Harry. Is General McChrystal going to get everything he wants? Well, I doubt it, although I'm hearing that NATO countries, our allies in Europe, may actually provide a few more troops than expected. They certainly so have been pushed in the last couple of days to put up more troops. That's right. And, of course, with President Obama preaching multilateralism and trying to create a new tone in American foreign policy, there was hope that allies might want to contribute more in this sort of a situation. It hasn't happened yet, but that may compensate for any gap between what General McChrystal has mm -hmm. proposed and what President Obama may want to provide. All of these meetings, nine, some people have counted, ten meetings in all over several months, this still doesn't necessarily guarantee the outcome the president is looking for, no matter what the strategy. Well, that's right, because you need a strong host partner. You need a strong Afghan government, or at least a, a competent, and, you know, even if it's just a mediocre one, one that can at least start to move forward. The good news here, even though President Karzai has a lot of cronies who are not very good actors and mm -hmm. are corrupt, uh, there are some people in key positions who run, for example, the police and the army, right. uh, his two top guys in the cabinet who do that, who are seen as pretty good, who are working pretty well with us. Uh, and we have this very vigorous program now to train the Afghans mm -hmm. and essentially do an apprenticeship program with the Afghan army and police under McChrystal's proposal. This is so a little bit like Iraq hope. after the country was stabilized. Yeah, I mean, you know, Iraq did work out, at least in military terms. Mm -hmm. We obviously see the politics there continue right. to be difficult. Uh, I'm not quite as confident yet that we're going to get mm -hmm. there in Afghanistan, but the plan is equally intense and equally focused, and I think McChrystal, frankly, is as good as Petraeus. So I do have some reasons for hopefulness. And very quickly, how much is this going to cost him on the left? Because I'm, I've got this sense that there will be people on the left of President Obama who are not pleased by this. Of course, that's right, Harry. But I think the real risk is if the war isn't won. You know, the left won't like this, but if in a year we can see progress, people will forget their original doubts, and they'll be glad that there is an exit strategy emerging ahead. The problem will be, of course, if we don't have progress in a year, that's going to mean that we reinvested in a, a failing mission, and that will be the problem. Michael O'Hanlon, thank you for your expertise this morning. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Harry.